whenever we do a vocabulary activity where you're practicing and learning by using quizzes, you have to get 100% three times in a row, at least. You could go for more than three times in a row, especially if you're trying to beat the high score, but at least three times in a row is how you can get credit, all the XP and gold, for these assignments. Then I will approve it, and it will unlock whatever comes next. With robotics, what's going to come next is called More About Robotics. You're going to go to Assignment and click on Open in Google Classroom. And here you will see that you're going to use uh, News ELA or Newzella. I've heard it pronounced both ways. And you're going to click here to sign in. As always, anytime uh, you are signing into a service that I uh, offer you through Google Classroom or Classcraft, you can sign in with your school Google account. And when you sign into this one, you're going to see your first assignment is this robotics text set. And uh, you're going to click on it. A text set is a series of articles that I have chosen for you so you can learn more about a particular topic we are studying. In this case, robotics. Is it for you? One of the things you learn in school besides all sorts of different content and gain all sorts of skills is you learn about careers that you might want to do. Is robotics for you? Is programming for you? Is designing and building for you? Well, here are some articles I've put together uh, for you to experience and learn more about this amazing uh, career. I'm going to start with the first one. It's called Dream Jobs, Designing Robots for Kids. Now, one thing, if you're not familiar with News Ella, you click here and it offers you different Lexile levels, all the way from the 380, which uses small sentences and um, very understandable vocabulary, to 690, 840, 930, and max. The higher the lexile, the more complex the sentence structure and the more sophisticated vocabulary it uses. So you can see here between 380 and max, the paragraphs get bigger, the sentences get longer. So the first thing you want to do is pick the lexile level uh, that helps you read the story and totally understand it. It's all the same story. It's just different levels of complexity. Pretty cool, huh? So you're going to read the article, and then you're going to go over, once you're done, to the reading comprehension, write prompt. And anytime you have a write prompt, you're going to choose your class, and read the prompt and answer right here. Once you respond, you're going to go to next and you'll be completing this one. And then you can go back to assignments to read the next article. So once you're done with the uh, vocabulary practice and you've got them down, you get 100% every time, you'll be doing some reading in class while everybody else is trying to catch up to you and get 100% three times in a row. And as always, you're going to start by choosing your Lexile, the one that fits you perfectly, or the one you like the best. I mean, maybe you can read at a max level, but you prefer something a little uh, less complex for today. Depends on your mood. But as always, go to the writing prompt, pick your class, read and respond to the prompt right here because that's how I'll know that you uh, did the reading and that you got it. And that's it.